Hey, what's up everybody? We are gonna go ahead and go over getting a mobile studio, music studio, taking from one office into a room where I need these drums hooked up. So if you don't have a lot of room in your studio, your little music studio, but you have room in your living room, this is what I've done. Since I need to get this drum hooked up, we have a home church that we go through in our house here. And I have my studio and my content creator uh, stuff here for my music and for my um, YouTube channel, Speak and See, that you're watching now. Here's where it is. This is my uh, Jonathan's Playhouse studio right here, which we can even move in and move out. It's got the uh, Roland VH1 HD, a couple cameras, the SM7B, and uh, a couple monitors, one for us to monitor while he's playing and the other for him to play on. And over here is the music studio that I use for both content creating, which is where I use my SM SM7B right here. And uh, it's hooked up to the Cloud Lifter, of course, and I'm running that into my Rodecaster Pro. But when I want to record music, as you can see, I've got the uh, preamplifiers all here and the sound system here and my mixers up here. Maybe a little too big, but not when you're hooking up drums and you're hooking up a whole bunch of instruments. So a lot of you understand that. However, I need to get this out there, and that was a problem that I was dealing with, not being able to bring those big, all that equipment into this room. So I had to get my studio to go out into that room. So what I did is I purchased this desk on Amazon. I believe it was like $300. And as you can see, it goes up where I can talk as I'm you know, doing my YouTube channel. It's more comfortable that way. And I can get up under here and unplug what I need to unplug. And it's also on wheels. And if this was on a wood floor, it would roll much easier, but we're on carpet. But it still rolls pretty good. I gotta, I gotta say that I gotta give it credit. Oh, and I got my little stream deck here for my YouTube channel to switch on and off. But I'm gonna show you now how to get a, a studio from one room to the next. And make sure you have the right cords and stuff like that. But, uh, here we go. So I just made a YouTube video. So what I'm gonna to have to do now for recording, I'm gonna take it real simple. We're gonna take a vocal microphone, a acoustic amplifier. It's gonna be an acoustic song. We got the Fender SFX. And I will be taking my favorite guitar, my favorite acoustic guitar, my Takamini EF261. So we'll be taking this, this, and this. We'll be taking these three setups right here for me playing, and then we're gonna use the drummer out there. I also wanna take our music notes and our cables so that we can hook everything up correctly. And then from there, we'll go on out and I will show you how I do the studio. Now I'm just going to power everything down on the desk. Now I'm going to get under here, which isn't going to be too hard because I've powered everything off. I can go up a little higher with this. I can go up and unpower everything from the back. And to give you a quick look underneath the desk, as you can see, I've got everything powered on by this surge protector here. And that's my USB cable and my, uh, what's that called, a dock? Yeah, that's my USB dock that keeps everything going to the computer. So we are just going to have to lower the desk before I power this off. Okay, now that I've unplugged everything from the back and I can see that there's only one cord, cord dangling here from the desk, I know that that's my power cord. So I'm just gonna lower the desk, unplug that, and roll it out.
Now it's out into the living room and I just got to bring a Cat5 cable to it, which I have an extender for it, which I will hook up to this, to the internet, and everything will be wound up to the internet. We bring out our cords and we plug it in and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we've got just, we just plugged the power in there, so we should be uh, good to go. Let's see how we, uh, turn it on. Okay. I'm not going to be using the roadcaster, but... I didn't want to have to pull it off, so we're going to leave that here for now. Okay, well, this is showing me hooked up to the internet, so we're all good to go. I just need to plug in now the acoustic guitar, the microphone, and the drums, and then we'll be ready to record. Show you how that's done. We're going to be using an acoustic amp with a direct out on the back. 23 right here. In there. That's in. I just got to program it into the computer now. And now we will plug in the drums. And we're going to plug this into the right output. He's got his left output into his amplifier. But this is going to go directly into the mixer so that we can get the sound coming straight from there. And we're going to take this into 21. That way we can have channels 21 and 22 can be a stereo and 23 and 24 can also be stereo. We link them. And hooking up our microphone. And we're going to do a direct microphone direct in because all I want to do is basically get the drum loop. So we're going to go directly in from the microphone into the amplifier. And the amplifier will give us both the guitar and the vocal for now, which later we can go and do a separate guitar and vocal. We just need the drum loop right now. This amplifier will feed both the guitar and the vocals into the mixer. Okay, so now we've got everything hooked up. The two channels are linked and we're ready to record. We have the drums here up on channel one. And that will actually be recording a stereo through channel 21 and 22. And we have channel 2 as well. And now if you hear my voice volume going right there, it's coming through. Okay, and now the drum roll will hit. And we have levels on the drums. So now we're ready to record. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you have a mobile studio and able to bring it from one room to the next. If you have wood floors, it might be easier, but as you can see, we have more space now. We can get a full band in here if we wanted to. And I can still take my studio back to my room and do my YouTube content and uh, do my editing and software stuff like that in the back. So if you don't have enough space in your house, consider the uh, rolling desk. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later. It's crazy in the time I'm seeing now. And I can't